Hello, today I will be showing you how we can download a spool file or any type of file from SAP to our output put devices and apply a template with our software Complete Explorer, uh, which will extract the necessary information and create uh, Excel reports automatically. Uh, so here's the spool file we'll be working with. And if I go ahead and just click print, I printed it to my output device. And here I am in Complete Explorer. Uh, on the left side here, we can pull files from our output devices within SAP. And I'm going to scroll down to my output device where I printed the file to. Or we can also pull uh, spool files or PDFs or any other type of files from our uh, network folders. Again, this is the spool file that I printed from SAP, and I'm able to access it here in Complea Explorer. And within this Complea wizard, we can create a template that will extract uh, only the necessary information to create formatted Excel reports. Uh, so right now, I'm just opening the template that we have created for this spool file to show you exactly how these Excel reports are created. Uh, here is the run mode in which we choose the program to run the final reports with. Uh, in our case, we will be running the final reports with Excel. Uh, as you can see, we have set a few commands to uh, be executed when the template is applied. Uh, the first one is to dump all the information that we pull from the spool file into a pre-made Excel template. So all the information that we pull from the spool file will be evenly dumped into each column here in the Excel template. And the end reports will be dumped into this folder over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete them so we can actually see them being dumped into here. And if I go to the run conditions, we have set a condition so that every time there's a change in the vendor name, for example, CEB New York, uh, to BMX, or to cleaning supplies, there will be a new Excel report created for that vendor. Now, so if I go ahead and run the template, uh, actually, before I run the template, I'd like to highlight that this template is a one-time process, so it can be reused for similar files from SAP. And now if I go to my folder where we have set the files to be dropped in, you can see them being produced. And again, they were produced per vendor. And as you can see, the template that was once empty has now been populated with the correct information. And all this information was pulled from the spool file. Uh, if you see here, there was a formula that calculated the total price. This formula was created here in Complea Explorer. So you do have all the functionalities of Excel within Complete Explorer, so you can create the formulas before the Excel template is actually created. So that way, when the Excel uh, file is created, the formula will calculate uh, your necessary outcome. And now I'll show you how to automate this process with Complete Supervisor. Um, and within this automation process, instead of having to manually go to Complete Explorer and click Run Import Format. You can simply uh, schedule the tasks either weekly, daily, monthly, or annually. Whenever the reports need to be produced, you can schedule it to be produced on that day. And all you have to do is pick an output device with, from SAP to monitor 
And when the spool file gets printed to that output device, it will apply the template that we created in Explorer, and it will create the necessary Excel documents automatically. So if I go back to SAP, and if I print to my output device, again, supervisor is monitoring my output device. And we go to supervisor, and we can watch the process taking place right here. And this will indicate, indicate that our template from Complete Explorer is being applied to the spool file and that the necessary Excel documents are being created. And here we have the same exact documents that were automatically created with Compleo Supervisor. So again, what I showed you today is how we can create a template here within Compleo Explorer to extract the necessary information from the spool file. And what I showed you here is how we can monitor an output device or a printer or a folder on the computer or even an email mailbox, whatever the file may be sent to, we can monitor that box and we can have a template that we created here in Explore applied to the spool file when it is printed. Thank you for your time. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to contact me 